What's up my loves? My name is Paige, this is Paige the Page, and today I'm going to be doing 7 on Sunday. Seven on Sunday is a Goodreads group created by Grace from Cheese Swizzle, and I'll leave a link to both the Goodreads group and Grace's channel in the description box below. So this week's topic is our 2021 series TBR. And oh, so originally I was going to do a whole video of the series that I wanted to read this year. Thinking on it, that's about 90 series, and there's a seven on Sunday topic where we just pick seven. So I will still be working towards my goal of completing as many series as I can. I definitely do want to hit to 10, but these seven are ones that hopefully I will make a priority. The first one is my only uh, digital series. Essentially, I much prefer having physical copies for my series, working through them that way. I forget about my Kindle. I really don't go to it much. Um, but the series that I want to finish off is the Wicked Villain series by Katie Robert. I still have three more to go that got released last year, and I don't know how many are being released this year. Um, so Queen Take the Rose, The Sea Witch, and the beast but i'm hoping to read those three by the end of the year fingers crossed um we're not safe for work upon running every three months uh i will be able to get one in for each of those rounds and then if a 2021 comes out then i can read that one in the december round into my physical copies so some of these series i literally just have one book to go and it's short and i don't understand my brain but Alas, here we go. So the first series that I want to finish is the Percy Jackson series by Rick Riordan. This is literally the last book, the last Olympian. I know there's like a companion or two companion books, which are like the Demigod Files and Percy Jackson and the Great Gods, but they're not actually part of the main series. So this is it. This is it. It's a 361 page middle grade YA sort of area. And then I can start on the next Rick Riordan. I don't know which, if I will like start them this year or if I'll just leave it for a little while and focus on some other series that I actually own, but we shall see. But this definitely needs to get done. Next up, we have a bit more of a Chunky Monkey and I did want to finish this before the end of 2020, but timing just didn't work out. And that is The Hero of Ages by Brandon Sanderson. So this is the third book in the first era of the Mistborn trilogy. And I have no idea what the fuck's going to happen. Um, I know this is following Vin as per usual. And shit. Shit went down at the end of Well of Ascension. So definitely going to be interesting to see how this plays out. Um, and yeah, I think it's going to be really interesting. This one is a Tronke Monke. Uh, where are we at? Hero of Ages. Do not spoil the last page for myself. Do not spoil it. 724 pages. So... Yeah, uh, this one's going to take a little bit longer to get through, but definitely keen to finish this off. And y'all, this is on my January TBR. If I don't fucking get to this book, you have permission to hurt me in any way that you would like. Because Muse of Nightmares by Lainey Taylor. This, Lainey Taylor is one of my favourite authors. It's a duology. There's literally only two of them. I've put it on at least six TBRs. Have I got to it? No. Did I read Strange to Dreamer in one sitting on a train down to my parents? Yes. I'm so frustrated with myself. I just can't continue series or finish them. So this needs to be done. It's on the January TBR. So this literally fills every single reading challenge that I'm doing. So if I don't get to this, the next series I am actively avoiding, and that is the song, uh, Song of Ice and Fire. I have the fifth book, part one and part two. So mine are split into two separate editions. But yeah, these these are chonks. These are very, very chonk. Um, I'm nervous. And yeah, but I figured if I finish these two, I'm up to date until Winds of Winter or whatever the next one is comes out. And then I can read that and then continue on when the next one comes out. Whenever that may be. I have no idea. But um, yeah, I figured we should, we should step it up. We should finish these. I don't want to because they're chunky. Um, and if they come out of my big book TBR jar, that would be fantastic. Um, but for the most part, I'm just avoiding these. Yay. Next up, um, I started this series in December, and that is The Light Ship Traders by Robin Hobb. This is book two, The Man Ship. I don't actually own book three at the moment, but I intend on getting it pretty soon if I can find a 
copy of it. And yeah, this is following the Bestret family. Um, I adored Ship of Magic. I love Robin Hobb and her writing. And I just noticed this cover and it's really pretty. Um, so yeah, I'm really curious to see where this goes. I'm assuming this is going to follow a little bit more around Amber, which I'm really excited for. Althea is our main protagonist. Um, and then we have Kenneth. Yeah, Kenneth and Amber, who are sort of major players, but not as predominant as Althea. This follows a lot of different perspectives, but I really, really enjoyed it. And I can't wait to finish this and then the third one when I get it and finish this trilogy off and then dive into more. And finally, this is the last one where I don't just have one, two or three books. I have six. And that is the Laws of Magic series by Michael Pryor. So the first one is Blades of Glory. I believe this is a middle grade YA fantasy. And I read this years and years ago, probably as a teenager, and I adored it. So um, I know that there's magic, there's uh, political intrigue, boarding school, and just, yeah. Mm. I only read this one. I want to reread this and then continue on with the rest of the series. And it's been sitting on my shelves for the longest time and I just want to get to it because I think I'm going to really enjoy these. So these are some of the series that I want to complete off this year. I do have an entire list and many, 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 many more books. Um, but I figured this is a nice little starting block. My next video should be the all the series I completed or got up to date to in 2020. So keep an eye out for that if you would like to know what I did manage to complete last year. And yeah, I'm really excited. Um, I've recorded it all down, so fingers crossed I can pull them off and give you a show. But yeah, um, let me know in the comments what is one series that you are dying to get to or your muse of nightmares that you just keep putting off, even though you know you're going to love it. And yeah, if you like this video, feel free to give it a big thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more of this mess, feel free to subscribe and I'll hopefully see you in my next video. Bye!